MTDMTD2, 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 MTDMTD2. In the past seven days, we've lost a number of pop icons, including Ed McMahon, Farrah Fawcett, and Michael Jackson. And today, TV pitchman Billy Mays died. Lynn Hayes Freeland had a chance to speak with family and friends. She joins us live tonight with more. Lynn. That's right, Trina. Good evening. You know, there are still a lot of questions about how, how and why 50-year-old Billy Mays died inside his Tampa, Florida home. Now, it's probably going to be several days, possibly even weeks, before we actually get the results, final results of the autopsy. But what is certain tonight is that Billy once made a name for himself here in the Pittsburgh area and extended far beyond that. If there was ever a story about a hometown boy making good, Billy Mays would have to be considered for the title. Born in McKees Rocks, attended Stowe Rocks High School where he played football, but later became a household name through, of all things, the infomercial. Billy Mays here for Mighty Mended. Great guy. You know, popular in school. Did well for himself and tragic. Absolutely. What you saw on television was only half the story. Billy was as passionate in real, in, in real life, family life, work. He exuded the uh, passion that I've never seen before. Matchless. Uh, God broke the mold. Mays died early some and determined causes. His wife discovered he was unresponsive just before 8 Sunday morning. He wasn't feeling well when he went to bed sometime after 10 o'clock last night. The medical examiner will take into account any, if there is any type of injury uh, externally or internally that he may have suffered. The injuries could have been related to Mays' experience on this U.S. Airways flight that landed at the Tampa airport hours earlier. The front tires on the aircraft had been blown out and the landing rocky. U.S. Airways says no one reported any injuries at that time, but Mays said he took a blow to the head. It was just a, I mean, a hardest hit, uh, all the top things from the ceilings and uh it hit me on the head but i got a hard head so can you put two and two together yesterday he's a, he's a healthy man with just uh, needing hip surgery okay but in good health otherwise always took care of himself and the next day he's gone you know from what i understand there was uh, a mishap to say the least on the runway uh incoming uh i believe it was tampa and uh you know, he got hit on the head with something. Mays has lived in Florida for several years with his wife and two kids, but he still has ties to the McKees Rocks area. His mother was a fixture in the community, and even those who didn't know him personally knew the story of the local boy who made good selling OxyClean and Orange Glow. Known his family for a minute, uh, from all the like commercials and the cleaner commercials and. I know they just put him on the ESPN commercial and all that, so I know I know him real well. And while most may remember Billy Mays as the salesman that projects, not yells, for those who knew him personally, like his younger brother Randy, Billy Mays was much more than a salesman or businessman. He was a family man, a visionary. He was gifted, but his gentle side, his passion, but yet his gentle side is what I would just like to put, put forth right now. People that know him. No, no of his gentle side. He was a gentle man. MTD, MTD2, MTD, MTD2, MTD, MTD2, MTD, MTD2.